Hello guys, welcome back to Popcorn in Bed, Canada edition. If you're new here every summer, we try to come up to visit my parents for most of the month of July. So the next couple of reactions will be from a change of scenery. I especially like when my head gets right here and it looks like <laughs> a halo. So sorry for the change in setup, but I am grateful to be back to the motherland and, you know, spend some time with my family and my kids love hanging out with their cousins. And um, the last couple of weeks have been a complete whirlwind of chaos. Um, my husband ended up in the hospital for a few days and he's gonna be okay. He's on the up and up, getting better. But that was scary and also kind of threw everything off for popcorn to bed as I was trying to bank up movies before I came to Canada. And then that happened. And then I flew my kids to Canada, dropped them off with my parents, and then me and Carly met in New York for a whirlwind 36 hours to watch the Mission Impossible premiere. Uh, if you saw the video, we ended up meeting Tom Cruise and the director, Christopher McQuarrie, and it was a once in a lifetime experience. It was so incredible. And now, now I'm back, back to normal life, back to, uh, you know, just regular. Anyways, I mentioned this not only to name drop, just kidding, can't wink, ugh. But because before I left, my husband's birthday was in June and we had a poll of his favorite movies. I've watched a lot of his favorite movies already, like Rocky and Rudy, but he just gave me some that he wanted me to watch. And it just, ah, sorry, dropped my drink. It just so happened that the top two winners and the winner won only by 1% was Minority Report and then Rain Man. And since it was so close, I decided to watch both. But kind of funny that they were both Tom Cruise movies. Minority Report, The Butterfly Effect, The New Spider-Man, Memento, Encino Man, Rain Man, and Ready Player One were on the poll. So yeah, tonight I'm watching Minority Report with my good friend Tom. <laughs> okay, I thought this was like an 80s or 90s movie, but I'm just looking now and it's 2002. So I was gonna say not that long ago, but that kind of still 20 years ago. Oh, not okay. I know that it's sci-fi and I don't know anything else. So I'm excited to watch this one. It's been on my shortlist for a while. Okay, if you're new here, please subscribe if you want. And don't forget to like and hit the bell if you want emails when a new reaction is dropping. Here's my Patreon and you get to vote on polls like this, full length reactions. Okay, let's watch. Have you guys heard this time period? Like they call the 80s the 80s and then the 90s. Then they call the 2000s the aughts. I had to Google it. I don't really understand it. Like zero zero. Ah ha ah. Oh oh aughts. <laughs> I don't know if that's right. Okay. Ow. Okay. Uh, I know how blind I am without them. <laughs> what is happening? I thought this movie was about aliens. Ah! Okay, well. <sighs> this is creepy. Please don't be an eyeball. Sarah Mark. Department of Pre-Crime. The year 2054. Perpetrator, Howard Mark. Killer's male, white, 40s. Location still uncertain. Remote witnesses are plugged in. Remote witnesses? Morning, detectives. Case number 1108, pre-visualized. Are those the, the murderers and the... Okay. Will the witness preview and validate number 1108 at this time? Time of murder, 8.04 a.m. That is 24 minutes, 13 seconds. 24 minutes from now. So 
this is before it happened. Four score and seven years ago. He looked familiar. Who? A oh, man standing in the park across the street. How can you even tell? You know how blind you are without your glasses. Oh, blind. What is happening? I show eight Howard Marks in the district, sorting by race and age. Whoa. Eat your heart out, Tony Stark. Got him in the Fox Hall, 4421 games, bro. Set up a perimeter and tell we're on route. Good. We'd have lunch okay. together. Can't you I have an open house. Here. At the wrestler place. Well, I guess that's why you look so nice. Uh oh. So that guy across the street is her lover. Investigator from the feds here. Checking with the papers ahead of Ford and see if the neighbors knew where they went. Check all relations. You put John in. Fletch, just get him some coffee. I got coffee. Thank you. Danny Whitworth. Sorry, Danny, I'm going to have to give you the full tour some other time. Colin Farrell. That guy. Band of Brothers. Victims are pronounced here killers here. Beyond that, the date of the crime, all we have to run on are the images that they produce. Who are they? Are those humans? The precogs can see a murder four days out. Why the late call? And we call it a red ball. Crimes of passion is no premeditation, so they show up late. The time horizon, 10 minutes. 10 minutes! What? There you go, man. It's a park. It's gotta be Barnaby Woods. If on a flight time. Where I drive, three minutes after wheels up. What are we driving? Oh shoot. But here's my question. If they catch him before he murders them, can they technically arrest them, him? Because he didn't actually do the crime? Let's go to bed. Oh shoot. What if he changes his mind though, also? What? Which one is it? Time horizon, one minute. Chief, we're catching up to the future. Did Marks close the front door? Hurry, 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 hurry. Negative. The front door is open. Time horizon, 30 seconds. Oh, this is so messed up on so many levels. Forgot my glasses. That's aggressive. Holy crap. My mandate of the District of Columbia Pre-Crime Division. I'm placing you under arrest for the future murder of Sarah Marks. Uh, Give the man his hand. Don't put that halo on me! Sarah! So they stopped the murder. Well, that's just an echo. Uh, pre cog deja vu, if you will. Uh... Wally, erase the incoming. Well, that is a trip. Just six years ago, the homicide rate in this country had reached epidemic proportions. But instead of one miracle, we were given three, the precognitives. Within a year, pre-crime effectively stopped murder in our nation's capital. We want to make absolutely certain that every American can bank on the utter infallibility of this system. And to ensure that what keeps us safe will also keep us free. Wow, futuristic. What's the matter? Can't sleep? You want the customary clarity or the new and improved? Don't worry, none of your secrets save with me. What do you think you know, my God? My daddy used to say, <gasps> In the land of the blind, one-eyed man is king. What? How does that exist in the future? Oh, Wait, was he getting drugs? Oh no. Wait, his son? Sean! Hi, Daddy. Can you teach me how to run faster? Keep, keep your knees up. up. Like that. Good. Like that. Like that. Like that. See, so you're a natural runner. Oh my gosh. I gotta go. Bye. Hey, 
You gotta give me a kiss. Not on the lips. Only mommy kissed me on the lips. I love you. I love you, daddy. Oh, this is really heartbreaking. John, 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 put the camera down. Look, I'm, sweetie, why don't you put the camera down and come and watch the rain with me? I promise I'll make it a memorable moment. Do you think they got murdered and that's why he went into pre-crime? 2054. I don't think we're quite at the level they expected us to be if this is only 30 years from now. A week from now, people are going to vote on whether or not what we've been doing down here has been some noble-minded enterprise. Watch this Danny Whitwer. You can let him look around, answer his questions, but watch him. Yes, sir. Huh? Why'd you catch that? Because it was going to fall, but it didn't fall. You caught it. The fact that you prevented it from happening doesn't change the fact that it was going to happen. I'd love to say hello. To Hinneman. To them. Cops aren't allowed inside the temple. You've never been inside. We keep strict separations. So I'll be the first one to go in then. I have a warrant in my pocket that says different. Stop chewing your gum like that, Mr. Colin Farrell. You're making me like you less. You're now operating under my supervision. Seems you've been left out of the loop, John. Ooh, he is condescending a bit. It's okay, sweetie. This is Danny Whitworth. He's from Justice. We're to give him the right of the farm. Tell me how all this works. Yeah, me too. Call the female Agatha. The twins are Arthur and Dash. White light pinpoints pulse along the entire length of the headgear. In other words, we see what they see. So they are humans. It's better if you don't think of them as human. No, they're much more than that. I know what it's like to lose someone close to him. To lose your son in such a public place like that. Okay. Why don't you cut the cute act, Danny Boy, and tell me exactly what it is you're looking for? Flaws. There hasn't been a murder in six years. There's nothing wrong with the system. It is perfect, I agree. If there's a flaw, it's human. Okay, but they have brains and they're drugged, but were they conceived or were they built? Do they have robot insides or tissue? Whoa. Ah, frick, frick, fricker, 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 fricker. Holy. Oh. Oh my crap. Oh. Oh. That scared the crap out of me. If you couldn't tell. Chief, grab me. It's impossible. The pre-cons aren't even aware of us. She spoke to me. Can you see? Oh my gosh. My heart is beating so fast. I'm interested in a murder. I got plenty of those. Kill type? Drowning. Victim's Caucasian female. Roll back. Mm. There. She's a golden oldie, one of our first, probably before your time. Just show me Agatha's data stream. For that, we go for a ride. This is some high tech. Are those the prisoners? And to think, they'd all be out there killing people if it wasn't for you. Okey pokey. Now that is one bad man. Wait a second. He found a woman named Ann Lively out at Roland Lake. Killers of John Doe. Never identified. Guys, here's my question. So like right now, the guy from the beginning. On account of those are not his eyes. He had them swapped out to fool the scanners. So you want just the female prevision. Huh. We don't seem to have her data. Probably just a glitch. Tell me about the intended victim, Miss Ann Lively. Uh, looks like she's a neuroanatic, like our John Doe here. So she cleaned up. So where is she now? <laughs> I guess glitches come in twos. No, uh, can't let you take that out of here, Chief. His kids, like, couldn't visit him, and he just is in here forever? Agatha's prevision wasn't there. Whitworth's scheduled for uh, containment, tour containment tomorrow. Yeah, give him a tour. Lara called me. She's worried about you. Quite frankly, so am I. It's Lara? Mm -hmm. His wife? The minute pre-crime goes national, they're going to take it away from him. We won't let them. How is an old man and a cop on the whiff ever going to stop them? So my father once said to me, you don't choose the things you believe in. They choose you. <coughs> the eyes of the nation 
are on us right now. I'm not a generation anyone listens to, but people trust you, John. They know that it's a belief born of pain, not politics. I always understood that. They're not going to take it away from us. I won't let them. Oh. Something's wrong. Bingo. Do you have a warrant? Hi, Daddy. Hello, buddy. I made up a club. Yeah? We're called the Crescos. <laughs> Daddy's in a lot of trouble, Sean. Ah. This is freaky. Now, from what I can see, we got a white male victim, about 5'10", approximately 170. This one's premeditated. Amazing. Well, the victim's name is Leo Crow. Are the witnesses ready to preview and validate number 1109? Ready when you are, John. Standing by. I send a protection team as soon as we lock location. Premeditated. Looks like federal housing, concrete and glass egg crates. Six. Female, senior, she's smoking a pipe. So we've got a third party wearing sunglasses just out the window. Just out the window? Goodbye, crow. Goodbye, crow. And you wait! Wait. Wait. You say something, Chief? No. I'll get this one. We got time on this one, Jed. What? That's him. I'm confused about... But they're never wrong. Get it to wait! Goodbye, Crow. Wait! Get it to wait! I like you, Chief. You've always been nice to me. I'll give you two minutes before I hit the alarm. This doesn't make any sense. Thanks. You're in a lot of trouble, John. You set me up. I'll write the paranoia off to the whiff you were doping on. Don't bite me. Easy. Easy. It seems I found a flaw. Possession alone will cost you six months. Oh my gosh. My brain isn't catching up. It's right where he set me what up. What is happening? He set me Stop. up. Stop. Just wait. He who? set me up. Now, who's the victor? Someone. Leo Crow. Oh, who is he? I have no idea, but I'm supposed to kill him in less than 36 hours. Who's Leo Crow? Lamar, they found me. You can't run, John. Everybody runs. Did Colin Farrell actually s Wait, wait till you're going forward again. Okay. You knew he was doping, yet you did nothing about it. The man lost a child. Jake. Six years ago. None of your damn business. Oh, it's all my damn business now. Investigation of a supervising officer for a capital crime falls under federal jurisdiction. Oh, boy. They said it was premeditated, and he's obviously not meditating. I'm going to enjoy working here. I don't like him. Good evening. You can move the old-fashioned John Anderson. That's messed up. John Anderson. You can use a Guinness right about now. Close your eyes. He's been identified on the Metro. Trey makes two stops at 20th and 33rd. Oh crap. Fire him up! Fire what up? I thought we were bringing him in unharmed. Oh wow, jetpacks. Hey, don't do this. John, don't run. Everybody runs, Fletch. Look, it doesn't Wait. have to be like this, John. Slow down, Chief. Just take it easy. Oh, this is so uncomfortable. Oh, they really are gonna halo him? <gasps> Ew, sick sticks. Oh, sick. He's trying not to hurt them. Okay, but now that it's happening to him, I don't believe in the precogs, because he didn't do anything. Anderson, stop! 
Columbia Free Crime Division. I'm placing you under arrest. <laughs> Go to sleep. Did he keep the jetpack? <laughs> Did you set him up, sir? Whoa, do those kill a man? Or just boom them? These two. Come on, John! This is another paradox. Because maybe this, all these events, are leading him to kill when he wouldn't have in the first place if those if those alien thingies in the wa in the m milk didn't show it. That backfired. Team John. <gasps> Heinemann, that's who he said the inventor was. Are those electronic? You're trespassing, I don't have visitors. <laughs> Oh, I'm afraid that would be from the doll's eye, the vine. Once the poison gets into your bloodstream, you will start to see the most extraordinary display of blue objects. Chief Anderton. <gasps> you better drink this. Soon you won't be able to swallow, and then you'll be totally buggered. You could tell me how someone can fake a prevision. How would I know that? Because you invented pre-crime. I was trying to heal them, not turn them into something else. You think the three in the tank come out of a test tube? They are merely the ones who survived. All of these kids were born with severe brain damage. Those few, those precious few who survived, they had a gift. For them, it was more like a cosmic joke. They would wake up in the night. No. Curled up in the corner of the room, screaming, clawing at the wallpaper. They dreamt only of murder over and over. The real nightmare was that these so-called dreams were about to come true. These murders were actually happening. Wait. They were children? I've never met the man I'm supposed to kill. And yet a chain of events has started, a chain that will lead you inexorably to his murder. I can't help you. Nobody can. The precogs are never wrong. <sighs> That's what he always says. They do disagree. Oh, <gasps> they do disagree sometimes. Once in a while, one of them will see things differently than the other two. Why didn't I know about this? That's why people are deleting files. Because these minority reports are destroyed to the instant they Minority report. Are Oh. For pre-crime to function, there can't be any suggestion of fallibility. Who wants a justice system that instills doubt? Are you saying I've haloed innocent people? Those accused of a pre-crime might just might have an alternate future. Does Lamar Burgess know about the minority report? Yes, of course, he knew. We both felt that their existence was an insignificant variable. But what about those people that I put away? If the country knew there was a chance... The system would happen. collapse. You want to bring it down? You will bring it down if you manage to kill your victim. I'm not going to kill anybody. Hold that thought. Huh? You shouldn't trust anyone. Not the young federal agent who wants your job. Not even the old man who just wants to hang on to what he created. She is kind of helping. I designed the system so that whenever a report occurred, it would be stored in a safe place but not declared. The safest place there is inside the precog. All you have to do is download it, darling. She's a little crazy. That is what you have to do. I'll get eye scanned a dozen times before I get within 10 miles of pre-crime. Sometimes in order to see the light, you have to risk the dark. Could you put like filters? When the chips are down, when the pressure is on, every creature on the face of the earth is interested in one thing, its own survival. Could she testify for him? We concentrate on the sprawl. Flyovers and ships with two spider teams on the ground. Almost got the entire area. Read anything with eyes and a heartbeat. Couldn't he just leave DC? Oh yeah, but again, he needs to prove it. Oh. 
This movie makes you feel so unsettled, doesn't it? Ew. Damn cold. Oh, gosh. But you do understand, I can't just give you new irises. Oh, he's doing the surgery. It's anesthesia. It's all gonna be downhill. Please, relax. All I'm trying to tell you is that I'll have to remove your eyes completely. And I have to replace them with new ones. I know that, but I want to keep the old ones. Why? Because my mother gave them to me. Greta, come out now, for fun. Talk to Ashley. Skynda på. I'm scared. Wait, they scanned his card. They're gonna find it. Um, I don't think we trust these guys. What did you give me? To you and I go way back. Why don't I just give you my old pal this time? You don't remember me, do you? From where? DC? Uh, Baltimore. I was a plastic surgeon. I put you away. You made those tapes. They were performance pieces. You set your patients on fire. Let's change the subject, shall we? How do you, how do you? She only has eyes for you. I did spend an awful lot of time in the prison library. Confinement was a real education, a real... No, 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 I can't, I can't think about that because eyeballs are so disgusting. Thank you so very much, John, for putting that in now to return the favor. This your work? Yes. I like it. Is he gonna hurt John? You and John ever come here? We used to, every summer. He's not here now, is he? I had to ask. I don't talk to John that much anymore. How long has he been doping? It was right after we lost our son. You mean after he lost your son? It was nobody's fault. What happened? John was with him at the public pool. I don't know that I want to know. Lamar Burgess thinks you left John because he lost himself in pre-crime instead of you. I left him because every time I looked at him, I saw my son. Stop being a creep! And now you can leave. Thank you. Don't take the bandages off for 12 hours. Make sure you drink a lot of water. How do I find the bathroom? The bathroom? Now that's your right hand. Or chef and chatting. The kitchen is your left. This is a temporary parallel again, so Oh, it's gonna turn your purity phase into mush. People won't even recognize you, okay? Now put this in your goodie bag together with your leftovers. A little something from a mutual friend of ours. Okay, he lit his patients on fire? That guy, he, he was, he's in so many things and he's always like this. Is he ever nice? If you take him off the floor, then you're Is he gonna be okay? Oh no. How long can a whale hold its breath underwater? Yeah, a whale can hold its breath for about 20 minutes. We gotta beat the whale. Okay, well, we gotta beat the whale. <sighs> okay, give Ready? me the count, give me the count. Three, two, one, go. He loves him so much. What the freak? It was seconds. It was seconds. Uh, this is my nightmare. Looking for my son. Have you seen a boy in a red bathing suit? Sean! Sean! Oh, frick. Oh, that's so mean. That's so mean. Oh. Oh gosh, no. Oh gosh. What you gonna do when they come for you? I did not give you no break. I show 27 warm bodies. What do you think, four spiders, one per floor? Let's do eight. I gotta eat. No way. Under authority of PC section 6409, we are deploying spiders into your complex. Why would they have to be spiders? Stay still, baby. Open your eyes. It's okay. Like it. Oh, that's sick. That seems like such an invasion of privacy. Oh, so this is kind of normal. That's. What's the plan? Oh, he's gonna make himself not warm? Ew, 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 ew. 
This place is gross. We lost one. No. No, you don't. No, they don't. Don't do it, 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 don't do it. Oh crap. That cannot be good for his healing process. Bending down. Let's see. There's someone here. In the mirror. Pre-crime has eliminated the need for conventional detectives, but this display should give you some idea of what their daily life is like. Oh no, 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 no. Millions of pieces of mail every year. Is this the thing that's gonna hurt more than anything in the world? And is gonna mess up his face? Yes, it is. Um, don't think I wanna see his face, oh, okay. Oh, frick. This is disgusting and terrible. Ident John Anderson approved. No, 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 no. You can't be in here. Do I know you? Who are you? I like you, Wally. So I don't want to have to kick you or hit you with anything hard. Oh, hi, John. What does that look like to you? It's Agatha. He's coming here to get her. Can you see? Get her out. John, move away from the tank. John. Gordon, she's in the room with him when he kills Crow. She's already a part of his future. Jad, put everything you've got into finding that room when we stop a murder. Can you understand me? Are you cold? Can you imagine? Poor thing. Can you just She's tell me real. who Crow is? Detective, nice of you to come down here seeing how every cop in the world is looking for you right now. He's a precog. Oh, <laughs> yeah. You brought a precog here. And he sees it. You've been busted twice for felony hacks. So? So I need you to hack into her. Take her to Radio Shack. Rufus, you're gonna help me. Oh, she probably does not want to be hooked up again. Wow, she works. <gasps> I have the creeps. Where's my minority report? Do I even have one? No. <gasps> Can you see? See what? Ah! Help her! Help her! That was that girl from the beginning. You want me to see who killed Dad Lively? Are you recording this? Yeah, but look, it's pouring out of her backwards. Who killed her? Show me, show me, show me. Oh, her muscles don't work. Can you see the umbrella? Take it! Because she can see the future. Turn in here. Okay, this is good. She's going to help him. Oh, please, please. Have you got a coin? Drop some money. Can't you put it in my hand? Oh, oh. from an ad. 12 minutes. Anderson, leave. You have a choice. Walk away. Do it now. What room is Crow in? Uh, 10 6 Let's listen to the future predictor. <laughs> what I was going to say is all movies that are set in the future, have I seen one that has a good future? Something's gonna jump at me. Something gonna jump at me? Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, it's who killed his son. My, oh my.
my gosh. I just got... This my family gets nothing. You're supposed to kill me. He said you would. He he called me in my cell. He told me I'd be released if I went along and my family would be taken care of. <gasps> if you did what? Oh. If I acted like I killed your kid. He was being set up. What about the pictures? They're fake. Who was it set this up? I don't know. Holy crap. Was it Colin Barrel? I tell you who it was and my family gets nothing. Who made you do this? Don't kill me. Leo, let go of the gun. You're not gonna kill me. You're right, bro. Anderson, wait a second! Wait a second. Oh my gosh. We gotta run. Would you leave him out in the bed for anyone to find? I worked homicide before I went federal. This is what we'd call an orgy of evidence. No many orgies I had as a homicide cop going. None. It's not him. This was all arranged. The protection team simply didn't get there in time to stop the murder. But the murder itself happened exactly as the precogs predicted it. It's not exactly as they predicted. He says it's important. We recovered that from Leo Crow's hotel room. Colin Fair is actually going to be on his team. Tell me what you have. It's him. It's going to be Lamar. Lamar is setting him up, isn't he? This is the murder of a woman named Anne Lively. John told me about this. Now this one is from the cyber parlor. Anderton downloaded this directly from Agatha. It's, it's the same prevision. Look at the surface wind across the water. Watch the ripples moving away from shore. Now the second image. This is the one from containment. The wind's changed. What does that mean? This murder's taking place at two different times. It was inside of Agatha the whole time. So the question is, why would someone want this erased from the data file? Oh my gosh. I'm thinking someone got away with murder. Well, Jad told me that sometimes the precogs see the same murder more than once. Well, we teach the text to disregard. What if a technician only thought he was looking at an echo? What if what he was really looking at was a completely different murder? Just hire someone to kill Anne Lively, someone like a drifter. Pre-crime stops the murder from taking place. Right then, someone else, having reviewed the prevision, commits the murder in exactly the same way. Technician takes a look, thinks he's looking at an echo, erases it. Oh my gosh. Do you know what I hear? Nothing. He's gonna try and kill him right now. Do you know why I can't hear any of those things, Danny? Because right now, the precogs can't see a thing. <gasps> I'm sorry for not liking you, Danny. I'm so sorry. I can't. Lamar, it's Laura. You have to help him. Is he there? Yes. I'm on my way. Please, please don't tell Danny Whitworth. I don't trust him. I won't say a word. Danny, I'm so sorry. What does she see? Why would they set you up? Because I found out about her. No. How could I not have seen this? Anne Lively. Sean, he's on the beach now, towing the water. He's asking you to come in with him. There's so much love in this house. I want him back so bad. So did she. Can't you see? 
She just wanted her little girl back. Her little girl was already gone. She's still alive. She didn't die, but she's not alive. It's her. It's her. Tell me. That was her mom. Who killed your mother? Who killed Anne Lively? I'm sorry, John, but you're gonna have to run again. Run! This is terrible. By mandate of the District of Columbia Pre-Crime Division. Please no. I'm placing you under arrest for the murders of Leo Crow. Please no. That's it. That's my girl. I missed you so much. This is so wrong. This is so wrong. How do we fix it? You're a part of my flock now, John. They say you have visions. That your life flashes before your eyes. Oh, my. There was nothing anyone could do. I knew he was having trouble for some time, and yet I did nothing about it. I know how difficult this is for you. Maybe you can find some closure in the fact that John finally found the man who killed your son. Who's Anne Lively? Who? Anne Lively. I don't know who that is. You old double-crossing murderer. John said something about him being set up because he found out about her. Do you know the reason why John came here to work for you? He came here to work for you because he thought if he could just stop that kind of thing from happening. I understand. No, I don't think you do. John was the best cop I ever knew. But the scars he carried around. If you try to kill her, I will kill you. First thing Monday, I'll, I'll have Gideon run the containment files. See if anyone drowned a woman by the name of, of, of uh, what, did you, what did you say her name was? Anne Lively, but I never said she drowned. Crap, don't give it away. Crap, crap. Sir, the press conference is starting. The cogs are working. About this later. You filthy. I'd like a word with my husband. You are not authorized. Click. On behalf of your staff, we would like to present you with this. Congratulations, sir. How did you get this? I padded your expense account for six months. <laughs> sir? Yes? Sir, you have an emergency call on your private line. Uh, yes, this, this is Burgess. Hello, Lamar. Oh. You created a world without murder. Can you sign these for us? Uh, and all you had to do is kill someone to do it. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. I'm talking about Anne Lively. Just a junkie who had a kid once and had to give her up, but she wanted her daughter back. She wanted Agatha. Chad, are you getting this? Whatever this is, it isn't the future. It already happened. You knew without Agatha, you had nothing. Without her, you wouldn't be where you are now. Chad, Chad, what are you doing with that? You're too big, man. Oh, he's streaming it. You had to shut her up. How can you kill her without the precogs seeing it? Use a system you control. So you hired someone to kill her for you, knowing full well the precogs would see that murder. You lured Anne Lively with the promise of reuniting her with her daughter. Dress the same. Yourself. You made the real murder look like an echo. Anne Lively became just another missing person. What are you gonna do? Come on. Victim John Anderton. Think about the lives that little girl has saved. Think about the lives that little girl saved. That little girl could have saved Sean. You ever say his name? You used the memory of my dead son to set me up. How are you gonna shut me up? Forgive me, John. Forgive me, John. Hasn't happened yet, though, right? No doubt the precogs have already seen this. If you don't kill me, precogs were wrong and pre-crime is over. If you do kill me, you go away. But it proves the system works. Yeah, but the precogs are humans. We have to let them out. So what are you gonna do? Whoa. All you have to do is kill me, like they said you would. Except you know your own future. You can change it if you want to. Forgive me, John. Forgive me. 
1954, the six-year pre-crime experiment was abandoned. All prisoners were unconditionally pardoned and released, although police departments kept watch on many of them for years to come. What about the precogs? <gasps> oh my gosh. I love them so much for showing me this. The twins. Agatha and the twins were transferred to an undisclosed location, a place where they could find relief from their gifts place where they could live out their lives <sighs> like oh. Oh. Spielberg of course it was they never did find out what happened to their son I guess Agatha kind of told them wow holy crap oh my gosh I love thrillers. I love Tom Cruise. I love investigative stuff. I love, I loved it. I loved it. It had such good storytelling. I only guessed the twist like 30 seconds before it happened. Oh, it was so good. It was on the edge of your seat, but at the same time you're like thinking and the whole time you're wondering like, is this good, is this bad? And you can't figure it out. And there's like so many other little stories going on that later connect and ooh! <sighs> and I had a happy ending, a sci-fi thriller. Like, okay, it felt like so, like like I've nothing I've ever seen. Yes, it reminded me of like other like futuristic movies kind of like that, like, you know, where they try to make the world better, like um, Blade Runner and Demolition Man. It was just done to me so well. The arc of everything. Ooh! It just kept you guessing and you were feeling so much empathy for him and his situation and for the precogs and that whole system is just crazy and had so many side characters that were also like so well done <sighs> what a crazy crazy future world i just love the idea of all of it and you know it's kind of like black mirror-esque like is the future actually doing good or are the side effects and repercussions maybe not worth it? There's always a flaw and it's always human. How true that was. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that was so good. Tom, Steven, you did it again. Whew, I'm gonna be thinking about that one for a long time. Okay, thanks so much for watching along with me. Have a good night.